What's up guys, Sergio here, and it's finally done. I've completed it, you guys. Hours upon hours of collecting data and typing it into a spreadsheet, and I'm here with some preliminary results. So let's do this. So you might be wondering what the hell I'm talking about. Well, I'm talking about the in-game damage numbers that don't really reflect the actual damage you do with your weapons. I was inspired by Level Cap Gaming's video, where he did some theory crafting of his own, and he came up with some very interesting findings. So I went a step further and researched the data he requested. Now I was hoping to give you guys a much more complete weapon damage breakdown of this game. Um, the best I can do is give you what I've researched and found on my own. The amount of work it would take to actually go through and test every gun damage in game would just take so much time. I'm hoping that Ubisoft includes that information um, in the menu or maybe a, a website like Synthic.com will dig in there and start dig digging out the gun stats so that we can make more intelligent decisions and choices. So I've tested all weapons, excluding shotguns, and I shot at targets in the body and in the limbs. I gathered all that data, and after that, I've tested all the assault weapons again. But this time with my targets having Rook Armor equipped. The spreadsheet shows an attacker's damage model when the target is wearing 1 Armor plus Rook, 2 Armor rating plus Rook, or 3 Armor plus Rook. God damn! I've even calculated the damage per second. So fire rate is taken into account, and you can objectively deduce which weapons do the most damage over time. Some initial conclusions I can share with you at a cursory glance is that the MP5 and the MP5K don't even do the same amount of damage, despite the claim of the in-game value saying so. The MP5 will do 28 damage to the chest on an operator with 1 armor rating, and it will do 21 damage to the arms and legs. The MP5K, however, will do 25 damage to the chest and 18 damage to the legs on an operator with one armor rating, of course. Alright, that's my time for now. I've linked the spreadsheet itself in the description box so that you guys study it. And I'll most likely make some follow-up videos discussing my findings even further. And if anyone wants to do all this again, but with suppressors, be my guest.